Unlike the 3X OSC and the TS404, the Wasp has two different LFOs, each with their own effective parameters. LFO 1 changes the volume between OSC 1 and 2, the filter, and the pulse width. As we discussed before, the pulse width changes the very basic shape of the wave itself. LFO 2 changes the, just the oscillator 1 volume, the oscillator mix, which changes the pitch of the oscillator, and the amplitude, which is the overall volume. Each of these, each of these LFOs have different waveforms you can use. When it's a sawtooth waveform, that's the, that's the shape it'll take when the LFO goes. And the same with the square, it'll be, it'll be either or parameter, it'll be all the way off and all the way on. And the sign is a nice smooth change that it'll take when it goes. It has the, the amount and the speed, which we covered in the LFO. It also has these two buttons here, sync and reset. When they're synced, each, both LFO will have the exact same amount and speed. And when it's on reset, every time you hit a new note, the LFO will reset at the, the first indicated value. When it's not on reset, each note will, will continue on the global LFO and it'll start on, on whatever value the LFO has been on based purely on time that the LFO has been selected. Now, when you select the LFO on noise, that's basically a randomization. When it's on, when it's on noise, the, the LFO will go to any, any parameter, however fast you put it, and it'll be a random value every time you do it. And uh, that's pretty much how the LFO works on the WASP. It can come up with some good randomization and good automation to make the sound have real character involved each time we make a new one.